Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ara Dugmajan with the Duke Spine Institute and this is another segment of Spine Scams Exposed. And with this segment on YouTube, what I like to do is I like to look at situations involving people who have spine issues where perhaps they've been misled uh, by a healthcare provider, someone they trust, someone they believe, and they've been led down the wrong path. Today we're going to talk about misdiagnosis. Misdiagnosis is a very important thing in spine surgery and spine care. If you don't make the right diagnosis as to what's causing the patient's problem, then you're not going to make the right treatment. All right, here's a perfect example. Look over here on the left. You can actually see an MRI scan, and the black arrow is going to show you the L4 vertebral body. The below that is L5 vertebral body. Between them is the L4 5 disc. It's been damaged. But more importantly, you can see there's an area here of severe narrowing of the spine. We call that spinal stenosis, okay? Easy peasy slam dunk, right? You look at every other bone, they're all lined up beautifully. You look at the back of the bones, lined up perfectly. You look at the discs, they look good. You look at this one, it's obvious. This bone is slipping forward on this bone. That's an L4 on L5 anterolisthesis or slippage. And it's causing a massive um, narrowing where the nerves are getting pinched, okay? So, is that all? No, not so easy. This patient has something even more serious that was missed by the doctors, but we found it here at Duke Spine Institute. Look a little bit lower, <clears throat> and let's come over into this area called the sacrum or tailbone. Now the sacrum or tailbone is normally a bone that we don't pay much attention to because there's not much that happens with the sacrum or tailbone, right? It sits at the bottom of the spine, it's connected to the pelvis bones, and there's really not a whole lot that goes on down here with the sacrum. There is a sacroiliac joint, which does get painful with inflammation. It's about 10% of patients with chronic back pain have sacroiliitis. But more importantly, it is basically the base of your spine, and it's where the rest of the spine sits, the sacrum transmits the force and the weight of your body from the spine to the sacrum and from the sacrum over here into the pelvic bones, down your legs to your feet. All right, so what we're looking at on the MRI is a side view like this. And what's obvious is that this bone is slipping forward on the L5 bone and that there's probably a defect here, okay? And most spine doctors would look at that and go, you have a spondylolisthesis, you have stenosis, that's it, go get spine surgery. And the surgery you're gonna get is a fusion, all right? Like that, most of the time, but not at Duke Spine. We can fix this without fusing. The important point though, is they're missing something further down on the tailbone. There's actually a fracture. Let me show you the fracture. You can see it here at the bottom of this MRI on the left where the black arrow is. You're seeing edema. You can see the cortical bone is disrupted. Let's go to the right side. And again, the white arrow gives it away. I put the white arrow there. You can see the sacrum is completely fractured here. Okay? Completely fractured. That is a fracture through the sacrum where the white arrow is pointing to. And here's another example. A second patient that had an MRI that showed degenerative discs, they ended up having a fusion. And you can actually see on here some screws in the vertebral body here, and there's a seroma or cyst in the back. And look down here at the bottom. There is actually another sacral fracture in this patient, right here where the black arrow is. So that's a really bad fracture, and it's right through S1 and it's unstable, which means that this patient is gonna to need to have additional surgery to fix the fracture. But you can see in this picture here, where we have screws and rods. So this patient had a five level fusion with screws and rods, five levels. And the surgeon missed the fracture in the sacrum. So why is it important? Because if you don't fix what's actually broken in someone's body, in their spine, you're going to end up treating the wrong thing. And when you have a five-level fusion in your back, that's a major surgery, 12-hour surgery in the hospital for two weeks, and you're putting your life on the line to get that fusion done. 
when the whole time the surgeon actually missed the real problem, which happened to be a fracture in the tailbone that was unstable and it got worse over time and it got much worse and the fusion only made it worse. So wrong diagnosis and wrong treatment for the patient. Very important to go somewhere that's reputable, trustworthy, uh, where they're gonna do what's absolutely the right thing for the patient and not just try to put in a bunch of metal and make a million dollars. Hope you enjoyed this, learned something from it. I'm Dr. Duke Majin with the Duke Spine Institute.